now we have a cage. Mm. Uh, but now that we've got this huge incinerator, I'm sure we just need a few general hands to take the, uh, the stuff there. So very soon we have a very clean pillow hospital. Uh, or the environment it will be a hospital. Uh, but definitely there are still dogs uh, and vultures as well. It's not just dogs. Uh, they, they tend to overturn the uh, refuse bins. And then the waste is all over the place. Uh, before this project, we were hoping just to put a cage and to contain um, the refuse bins. Uh, apart from being a nuisance and it doesn't bring out the best of Mpilo when you see litter all over the place and it's a hospital setting. But also a lot of people who traffic uh, through the hospital grounds, going to Papua Fields, going to Mizilikas, and they pass through here, they drop things and they are not really um, part of the staff necessarily. Uh, but most of it is food, uh, food from patients, food from visitors and, and leftovers, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, um, would they have wanted the PCC trucks to be coming at least twice or three times per week if the, the environment is to be clean? Uh, but uh, like you heard from the chief medical officer or the city council medical officer, uh, they just don't have enough trucks and we have to make do what they can do.